Hi guys, welcome to Enforcer and the Dude Vehicle Test. Now the truck and ute segments are one of the biggest in Australia, if not the world. But this one is the coolest, baddest, meanest truck you will ever find. <laughs> the Ram TRX. What do you reckon, dude? Can we get two? <laughs> we can get two. <laughs> Come on out, mate, switch her off. What do you think? I reckon it's like a stadium truck on the road. I knew. Hey? If there was every ute built, right, for you, I know. this is it, because that's, that's what it is. It's like a stadium truck. I know, I couldn't believe it when you said you had this. I'm like, yeah. well, I love my Ram, yep. right? I love my Ram, and then when you said you got this, <laughs> How'd you pull that off? Oh, it's not who, what you know, mate. It's who you know. <laughs> Still connected, Russ. Yeah, it's Still cool. connected. And I'd uh, like to thank uh, Ram Trucks Australia. Neville Crichton. Yeah. What do you think? Good old, good old Crichton. Good on him, eh? Yeah, absolutely. Now, let's um, let's do a walk around okay. right first. Have yep. a look inside and out, poke up underneath. Then we're going to take it out on the track because I, I'm not going to tell you what sort of 0 to 100 times this thing does. I've had a bit of a play already. Yeah, well, you got it for the weekend, mate. You didn't no, ring I, me up and say, "Oh, dude, I've got the got the TRX no, for the I weekend." I actually took the <laughs> I took the family out for dinner in it last night. Actually, Did it you? was pretty cool. Yeah, they thought it was the baddest limo they've ever They're been. Good, in. isn't it? So it's pretty cool. So, all right, dude, let me take you through some of the stats of this big bad girl. All right. Right, eh, Russ? Give it uh, to me, mate. Six point two liter supercharged Hemi, just over seven hundred horsepowers. It's good, isn't it? 820 newton metres of torque. I like it, I like it. Like, that's ridiculous. Um, it's an eight-speed torque flight transmission, right? Uh, Bilstein active dampers, 295 millimetres of ride height. So if you're going, it is a true off-roader. So you can go off-roading in this thing with that, that sort of ride height. Uh, it's got a Dana 60 rear axle. You'd know about Dana axles. Yeah, I do, mate, yeah. Big bad truck. Didn't they rent, used to run them in NASCAR? They do. Dana Rex. Yeah, yeah. The rear ends. Yeah, sure. Floating Final rear. drive. Yep. It's actually got uh, full floating axle shafts. Has it really? Yeah. <laughs> Which is pretty uh, pretty cool. So she's very, very Full raced. floater rear end, mate. Full floater. Um, launch control, uh, eight different mode settings as well. I saw the With it. Baja mode. Below it's got in. Baja mode. I don't right. know what that does. I think you put it in Baja mode and it starts jumping stuff. I don't know, we'll have to find so, that out. It's always good in Woolies car park. <laughs> Want to launch it over a few Corollas. Um, the overall weight though, get ready for this. She's a big girl, all right? It hasn't been on a diet. 2,900 kilograms curb weight. That's okay. Yeah, it's getting there, but it's a big truck. Like, like you don't actually realize that I park this next to my Ford Ranger Raptor in the oh, garage, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And I put it dead level at the back and it comes up to about, oh, it comes up to about there on the wheel. So it's almost a full wheel and a little bit of guard longer. So do you get it than into those, those little car parks or you no. gotta take two? No, and you gotta remember the two compared to um, your Ram, yeah. it's a lot wider. Yeah, it is it's a bit, a bit wider, like the Ranger Raptor, it's got the pump guards. So, so it is track. wider, but it is long. I mean, it's, and it's not so much the tray, it's the cab that makes it long. Massive, I mean, when you look at the passenger door, the passenger door is actually longer than the, oh, than yeah. the front doors, you know, so a hell of a lot of room. So that's where the length come from. So when you're talking a Ranger, level with the back comes up to about here. So it is squeezy, you know, like, like I took the family out to dinner in it, parked on the side of the road, still fitted in a, side on road oh, yeah. car park. It fitted in there, it was squeezy, you know, but it got in there. If you took it to a normal shopping centre car park, you'd be struggling a bit, but. Just take two. Horses for courses, yeah. Just take two. Just have. What's the matter? Just have two, yeah. yeah. 
Uh, like I said, plenty of ride height. Um, it's got the four link type rear suspension. I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. Very similar to the Ranger old, Raptor. Yeah. Which, and the old style supercar. Yes. Four link. Four link. <laughs> um, look, it hasn't got a massive towing capacity, you know, but you could upgrade the springs. Because of the that. weight of the car. But to be honest, you know what? If you're going to have something like this, you're probably not towing a caravan around Australia, in it? No, you've bought it to, it's like a sports car for the off-road person, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly yeah. right. But it's um, got, got the little usual American style window in the back. Yep, um, so you can put the know. dog in the back and poke its nose through. Poke us there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, make sure it's still there. <laughs> I don't know. Is that what they do that for? I don't know. Yeah, that's what it's there for. You can imagine, you can imagine Aussies with that though. Well, America, you just take, you can even take the dog on the plane with you. Yeah, what do you reckon Aussies would do with that though, with that window? Uh, Down at Bunnings? Yeah. Or your lens of, or your lens of four by two. <laughs> Go straight through, <laughs> straight out the front window. they just load it up there, hanging out the back. They'd love that, so. Is that for the GPS, is it? Uh, it? Oh, it's, it's aerial, yeah, yeah, aerial GPS, navigation. Um, now, this is, this is where it gets cool. Have a look inside there. Uh, I tell you what, look, with Americans, American passenger vehicles, I reckon, are, are pretty average. You know what I mean? Like, they're, they're not, not the best built. You haven't been in many Cadillacs, have you? Yeah. No, 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 I haven't. No. No. They're pretty high end. Are they? Yeah, yeah but yeah. the general run of the mill stuff yeah. is, you know, average, right? But one thing the Yanks do well is build trucks. Like their trucks, the, the, how solid they are. The, it's a big, the mar big market, isn't it? Yeah, it's a huge do. market for yeah. them, so they have to get it right. Uh, and plenty of competition yep. when you look at all the different brands that build core trucks. Uh, but we'll talk about all the um, uh, everything inside. They've got 12.1 inch touchscreen uh, as well. But we'll go through that when we go in for our, for our little test. But this is where it gets cool. The business end of this truck. Uh, hey, these air intakes, they're mm -hmm. actually functional. Are they? They work, yeah. This, uh, this front one actually injects air into the That's where the, the air, air for the motor comes yeah. from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. It actually does something. Oh, you I know see how, how you, it works. Yeah. You know how you get all those and it's just cosmetic? Yeah. This one actually does something. Must come in here each side, then yep. feed into here. Straight down the back. Beautiful. Well, that'll so, stop you getting all the dust and yeah. all the shit through the front, won't it? Yeah, so it's pretty cool. So they had a big think about it, you know, like, because, you know, with the supercharged engine, thing what it wants more of is air ran that air down there so and under, clean under, air. under here is it hang on see if we can oh hang on let's pull this off oh not sure we're supposed to take that off but we will uh, oh there you go you can get yeah, in there intake here yep uh supercharged 6.2 hemi so that's the one they put in that that dodge hellcat oh the hellcat yeah same motor is it same motor same motor, so they, they shoehorned it in here. It's a long way back too, isn't it? You look how much room you've got in the front, they've actually pushed it back for uh, get as much weight, well, something this heavy, get, as, get the weight back as far as you can. Um, it's a 2.4 litre supercharger, but believe it or not, Hennessy in the States, the tuning firm, do an upgrade kit. Uh, they put a 2.75, I think, Leader supercharger, older the pulleys, bigger injectors, uh, headers and exhaust. They get over a thousand horsepower out of the thing, so I reckon it does naught to a hundred in 3.2 seconds. <laughs> like thousand horsepower, uh, and still with the same base engine. That's good, isn't it? It's just it's just wild. So the potential it's just in good it. Good to see, mate. Massive. All these days of people want electric cars and yeah, well, saving this... the planet that someone builds something cool. It's going to be the last. It's going to be the last of this will ever you think? be. Ah, oh, I think yeah. Oh, I think you know because the electric EVs coming out of so fast. This is this it's is still a, this is a sayonara. Talk. Maybe you have one of these for the weekend and you have your little electric car to zoom around during the day. Exactly what Roland Dane said when mm. we did the EV test out here. He said EVs is going to get your fish and chips and yeah, go down to Woolies. This is your weekender. This is this is your toy, so yeah, there's still scope for it. But uh, you know, and you look at um, uh, the Ford F-150 Raptor, uh, they made the mistake of actually peeling it back and going to a twin turbo V6, and it hurt them. And now they've got a Raptor R coming out, 
which has gone back to a supercharged V8. V8. Um, so obviously in America, they want they want eight cylinders and they want plenty of horsepower. But that's pretty cool, over 700 horsepower off off the showroom floor with the potential of getting another 300 out of it with yeah, just a few tune. bolt-ons. Yeah. That's good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty cool, but rock solid. Uh, and it's meant to go off-road. That's the good thing about it is, uh, you know, it's just not a show pony. This thing will just about Hammer it off-road. Plenty of horsepower, something that will go off-road. You know, off road. We'll, we'll do you make your own road. <laughs> Just about. <laughs> the, the only the only negative I can see, uh, you know, that like okay, I get it because they're only an 18 inch rim, so there's only so big a dish you can put on. But it looked it looks a little bit under braked, for my liking on there. But then again, I suppose it's not meant for a racetrack. So at the end of the day, you know, it's it's meant for off roading and. Yeah, I think so. I think and dirt road. So probably the brakes on a dirt road would be fine, but I'm just saying, it just just looking at the caliper and that, it's it's definitely not a not a six piston job, that's for sure. But uh, it's reasonable size pads on it. But I'd like to see a little bit more braking under it, considering how much get up and go. Could it's you got. fit much? Uh, probably not with that size of rim, but you could probably get a bit better. Do you reckon there'd be it. someone in America that's already come up with a? I'm sure <laughs> there'd be plenty of bolt on bits to. <laughs> there'd be plenty to of go on. on yeah, bits, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Look is awesome. One of the best looking trucks. It's a I've sexy looking truck, isn't it? Yeah, nice. yeah, it comes in cool colours. The J Lo rear end there, look at that. Yeah, yeah, it look, almost looks like a, what's the old custom um, custom trucks that they. Oh, they're the dualies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It looks, look, looks like a, a version of that. Bit, no? yeah. 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 Needs, um, I mean, there's so many aftermarket wheels. I've seen some cool pictures of these with massive big you know they go to a 20 inch wheel and even wider tire plenty of offset so plenty of guard clearance there for a bigger tire so it is a good it, point anyway. like, like even though you're buying this as a custom truck the people are going to customize this again aren't they? of course yeah yeah, yeah. and yeah. and that's that's what i've always said about the ute and truck market both in australia and in america is that it's you know how we used to buy the the Falcon or SS a, or Commodore, a Commodore or SS Commodore. First thing you do is you rip it apart, lower it, and, lower yeah. it there you go exhaust, the wheels, and, uh, and since obviously the demise of all that and and how the, the popularity of 4x4s and off-roads, it's sort of like the new Holden Commodores. You know, that's what pe people can personalise. It's, it's a vehicle you can go out. There's so much available aftermarket accessories. You can actually customise it and make it your own, make and, it individual. And to your lifestyle, what you're doing. Exactly right. Yeah. You know, whether that be a trade vehicle or for pleasure or, or both or camping or whatever. Your kayak you racks on, your tent or your, yeah. but mate, this thing's going to be pretty high speed. That's... Yeah. So let's jump in it. Yep. Um, I've worked out all the traction control and modes. Like I said, there's eight different modes. You've been so I've, I've worked that out, but I want to do some 0 to 100 runs because they're claiming 0 to 100 in 4.5. But online I've been reading various versions of that. Okay. So let's do it ourselves. It's got its own telemetry. You know? Really? Yeah, so we set it up. I've worked out how to use it. So let's, let's see in real world what times this actually does from 0 to 100. You know, it's not use going around and doing handling because it's a big truck and we know how it's going to handle, but let's see how fast it is in a straight line. So okay. Are you in? Um, so I'll, I'll mate, do you that. do that bit. I'll, I'll mate, wanna... You can do some off-roading because yeah. you're, you're a better off-roader than me. So. Okay. Do that. Yeah, let's do it. Strap in. Do you trust me? Yeah, always, Russ. <laughs> you do You've actually never got me in the shit, You mate, do never. actually trust me in it. <laughs> uh, they haven't tried to kill me for a while. <laughs> hey, what do you think of the layout? It's nice, isn't it? It's a <laughs> man-sized car. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, how's how nice it is? It's like a... Muscle car, but an off-road car, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But I mean, the Tesla style, twelve point one screen, uh, beautiful. All the Alcantara, stitch leather. It's just nice, you know. It's just nice. And and, and I've got to say, um, Aussie ingenuity at its best. How good's the conversion by Ranch Trucks Australia ASV? Yeah, they do a good job, don't they? So as we. I go back to our earlier shows when we did the tour of the conversion facility. Correct. Yeah. Body yeah. comes off the chassis. 
It's a rebuilt yeah. truck, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hand well, built truck. And it's so, um, like, it, when you jump in, you wouldn't know, would you? How, how would you know that the steering wheel used to be over there? It's just, it's just really, really nicely done. Um, even the gear shift, dude. Gear shift's over the right side oh, on the centre console. It's the little things, attention to detail. Isn't <laughs> yeah, because if it was over here, it, yeah. you'd, you'd be a flag straight away, you know, yeah. oh, as it used to be. But it's sort of over this side and um, just looks nice, you know. But I, I'm really impressed. I'm really impressed. And, and yeah, like um, and anyone can go back and look at our previous episode when we walked through the, the factory. Um, unbelievable facility. Employs plenty of Aussies. Good sort there, mate. No? It's not bad, is I don't know. I'll be up for chance. Yeah, I know. I'll hit on it later. <laughs> yeah, no, I like it. So, as we do with all our tests, we'll just take a nice leisurely drive around. And, yeah. uh, because you haven't been in this bad girl yet. No, I haven't been in it, but and, it's, um... Uh, just not... I, like I've experienced, and why I always gravitate towards the Ranger Raptor is the four-leg suspension makes it drive to me like a car. Yep. You know, the ride's just a lot nicer. You don't have to have a load in the back to smooth things out. Yep. Get a bit more movement. There's a lot more roll in it. Roll there, but like, a bit of feel. Yeah. Like, even going at this speed, you can... And it's not meant to be a sports car, but you can feel there's 3,000 kilos. It's a, big, <laughs> it's a, a bit of weight there, isn't there? Yeah, there's a bit of... But it's, it's softly sprung. You know, when you, you can move it backwards and forwards, and you can... There's plenty of movement there. First thing I noticed, mm. how high we are. It's high, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I nearly took the top off of it getting in the garage. You just be careful. <laughs> yeah, you forget. You want to check the height if you're going into car parks. Um, but you know, it's the steering's very, very light, and and I always worry about conversions and slack in the steering wheel. You know, you get that little bit. Oh, that on play, the, yeah. That where they've got lots of joints. Yeah, there. that yeah. play on the initial part, rock solid rock solid so massive tech for the conversion bloody good and anyone that's a little bit skeptical about left to right hand drive vehicles and you've got it you've had a ram for quite a while now it's only three years and no issues oh, mate, I've got the best car i've ever had and it I don't, that's just me i just went and bought it yep. i just drove into the dealer and that's what you said you rang me up when you yeah just bought it and up it and i got the got the hollywood pack yep and uh and that, that's a true test, dude, because you do a lot of, lot of kilometres, and if you're ever going to have any issues, it'd show up I've with the conversion. Never, yeah, no, and I, I've had a, when I lived in America, I bought a Dodge Ram home, for, I yeah. bought it in America, Yeah. bought it home with me when I come back, had it converted, and I hated it. It was just the... Because of all the things we're talking about. Yeah, all the, the things I was talking about, I just got rid of the truck. Cause yeah, right. Just, yeah, which shows you how much far they've come now. Yeah. Now, the big talking point about this Ram TRX is the zero to one hundred times. Uh, in the catalogue, and uh, they claim four point five seconds. Four point five seconds zero to one hundred on the spec sheet. Yeah, which is just ludicrous. I, I mean, that alone is ridiculous. How fast it is. But when I've been Googling around on, online, finding out some, um, some specs on this, there, there's a lot of punters that, uh, in the States that are claiming a lot faster. Really? A lot faster, which usually manufacturers um, are fairly generous with their times for whatever reason. So we're going to find out uh, what this actually will do. We'll do a couple of runs. Launchies. Launchies, because it has got launch control. A little button here with launch control on it that activates it all and on the screens it's got race option mode so check this out on the screen you can actually change for your launch control where you you spool it up you know you got your foot on the brake you can actually change the revs that it will go up to so like 28 3000 back down to like two 1900 um, but uh, they reckon around 2,700, so anywhere right between right. 25 to 2,800 is optimum mm -hmm. to, to load it up. So to pre-stage it, um, look at this, it's even got shift lights. 
you can you can adjust when your shift lights come on at what speed the cell is set at 6000 race cool down so it shows you the temperatures oh you can get it back down to so yeah get your temperatures back down before you do more runs. hit it again yeah it's just Where, who would use all this oh, oh it's pretty radical yeah. yeah it's like a drag car um so anyway so let's set it up so we've got we, <laughs> um we've got the launch control set at 2700 um let's go back to our pages because we've got a performance page which gives us all our stats right so it's got its own telemetry system oh there we go so it's got 400 meters estimated time 0 to 100 0 to 60 brake distance you can even check your brake distance so the time you hit your brake on so so anyway so let's let's do one with launch control so uh, must be in drive uh, I, I must admit man, I'm not getting why you'd need launch control on this thing I know true but, I'm, but, I'm, I'll come but on. we'll get it okay. okay so we're in launch control oh look on the dash, can you see that? Oh, apply full throttle. No, it's got brake flash pressure. Oh, look at that. You used to have this on the supercar when you line up the line lights. Up and, line up and load a bit of pressure. Yeah, a lot of pressure. So it's actually got brake pressure. There you go, PSI. It's got everything, isn't it? I used okay, to, now I'm getting into it. It's 1100 PSI, which I used to use in the supercar. Line up. All right, you ready? You ready? All good? Yep. He grabbed it a bit there too. It did. 5.1 seconds. What are they saying? For 4.5. The TC. I reckon. I reckon you'd probably. I reckon you could pedal that better than the computer with your trained right foot. I reckon you would. <laughs> yeah, it just seemed to bog down. Might so. have been low grip there too on that part of the track. Where True. We True. Anyway, let's try it for consistency. We'll go back to the same spot. All right, mate, we'll have one more go at it. Yep. Okay, dude, I think I know what the problem was. The driver? No. Okay. <laughs> the driver? Yeah. <laughs> Too many switches. There's a lot so of switches. I'm not, I'm not used to all this technical stuff, mate. All right, let's reset. So uh, we're going to go back. <sighs> Launch control. Mm-hmm. Uh, apply brake pressure, and then mode. Can I change? Oh, okay. Right, I'm going to go Baja. Okay. Baja mode, right? Yep. 100. Little Low control, okay. We yep. good? Yep, yep, yep. Ready, here we go. It's a squatted and yeah. it changes suspension as well, does it? Have a look. 4.3. 4, 4.3. 4, 4. Not to 100. Is that the, uh, but the thing squatted. Did you feel the weight yeah. transfer and yeah. the nose come up? And yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. And the gears are holding more too. Baja mode's it. So the Baja mode was better than sport mode. All right. Mm. That's pretty wild. Really squatted, isn't it? Yeah, it got re re transferred the weight yeah, the way it went. Yeah. All right, dude, I'll tell you what we'll do. Uh, let's turn launch control off, traction control off, and do it manual. Okay, go old school. Yeah. Put it back on the driver's hands. Driver's on it. All right, okay. So we'll turn everything off. Uh, keep it in probably, keep it in Baja mode. Yeah. All right. Radio. So, hang on, uh, rock, sport, don't want tow. Baja mode. Oh, I feel a bit towy. Traction off, I feel a bit towy. Traction off. All right, page set. You ready? Yep. Okay. What have we got? Four, three. Four, three. What's the number? The 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they're pretty close to it then. Pretty good. Yeah. Alright dude, you're in. I'm in. Yep, well you know this off-road course better than any of us. So uh, we'll say we do a driver change. Right and uh, see what she does, uh, some of your rough stuff here at Norwell. What mode are you going to put it in? Um, what do you think? It's constant pull. What about rock. that rock? Well you've got some rocks. Rock or Baja mode, set, set your mode. Oh, sorry, mate. Uh, one there. Is that my mode? Or the tow, snow, auto, custom, rock. rock. What do you reckon, oh, rock? Shit's a low. We don't ah. have a low yet. Nah. Bar? I don't know. Rock. What are you on fast or slow stuff? Do we want to put it on low or? Nice. Is this new? I haven't seen this bit before. Oh, Jesus. Well, we're going, Russ. We don't need roads. <laughs> <laughs> this, this feels like it. Oh, oh, oh. So yeah. Let's get it. So that's. Yeah. What's it doing there? Hang on. Do you want to? Taking it into another mode. No, we're going to get it in and get it out. So what yeah. mode's that? Uh, uh, hang on now. Nah, look at this, mate. Look. Uh -huh. Axle lock. Yeah. Watch. Ah, oh, that's what it needed. <laughs> Axle lock. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> this is the press car, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and we are the press. <laughs> we are the press. <laughs> Bloody hell. So that works. Yeah, just. just so as axle soon as you put lock. the axle lock on, yeah. it locked it all up and off it went. Yeah. Okay. Well, hang on, what are you in there? Let's let's stick it on. Let's get it on that. Rock? Yeah, rock. Yeah. Baja. Yeah. Let's, I've got it out of I wonder if it's got a hill hold. Let's see if it's got that. Yeah. Yep. Hill hold? Hill so hold. Are, you, are you off of it? Yeah, then it went. Okay. Should hold for a. I'm on the brake. I'm yep. off the brake now. One, two, two three. three. There you oh, go. Okay. Yeah. So that's right. That's good. Like. Yeah. All right. Can you see where you're going? Yeah. I can't see anything. Oh, Jesus, dude. <laughs> he took the mirror out. <laughs> oh. It says it's got a hill hold this way. Yeah. Hill descent? No. It would be there, I'm yeah. sure. Go for a bit of articulation. Yeah. I wonder how much travel it's got. Do you want to get out and have a look? Yeah. Oh, hang on. Go, go up here. And we'll do it on the next one. Do it. Yeah. Oh, Pete's up there with the camera, so we'll. Jeez, it does it pretty smooth, doesn't it? That's what it's built for, mate. Huh? That's what it's built for. Far out. So the axle lock's just locked up at all the wheels. It's like it's a lock diff. Yeah. So we yeah. might get a bit of. Mate, look There's at a this. camera ranger. That's unbelievable. So you can see any trees or anything around you. Or... Huh? I think I think to go into rock we need to um, you need to put in low. It looks like rock and that baja. You need to put in low mate. There we go, there's a bit of cross axling. Oh, yeah. Let's have a look. Yeah, let's have a look. <laughs> have a look at this, dude. Have Pretty a look good, at the eh? <laughs> Man. How mind blowing is that? It's good, isn't it? Look at the spring. The spring's all. I reckon you could do a spring change. <laughs> <laughs> That's full droop there now, just about, eh? I reckon that is full droop. You see the camber on the wheel? That's incredible. But for the off-roaders, 
you always got traction on the back wheels, haven't you? Yeah, you got plenty of travel there, mate. You just walk That's through just everything. Insane. Check that out, yeah, <laughs> yeah, baby. That's great. Have a look at that. It looks like a stadium truck. With the <laughs> like, looks like you're going out of a corner in Darwin. That's wild, isn't it? I can't believe how much travel is in it. It's fantastic, isn't it? What else are we going to do? Huh? Let's try some sand. Well, we're going to sand rocks. Will we get through here? Oh yeah, we'll get through there, mate. I'll just fold the mirrors in, but yeah, we'll get through there. All right. All right. It's good this four-wheel drive of course. <laughs> I like it. Proving grounds, mate. Yeah. Uh, hang on, what mode do we want? Uh, hang on, it's right here. Uh, auto mud, mud sand. Mud sand, yeah, let's go. All right. mud sand. Mud sand? I don't oh, know what it does, what? That turns the TC off. Oh, really? Yeah. So no traction control? Yeah, so you can keep... Oh, yeah. So you can keep spinning and stay on top oh, of it. Oh, OK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So we should be able to roost some sand here. Really? We're going to fit through there? Should be able to just roost sand. Let's see if we can. <laughs> go back and go there. That's boy. better than the launch control. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Imagine going to the, go, going to the four, the, four drive park and just roosting sand on everyone. Yeah. Oh, I don't like that. Huh? Oh, I like that. <laughs> now, this is where we want to put in the low, low. Uh, okay, well, hang on, go rock. Rock shift into low, right? Low, yeah, okay. So this is where you just want to crawl. Alright, so four-wheel drive low. Yeah, do I have to be in neutral maybe to do it? No. Just trying to engage it. There it goes. There it goes, okay. So four low. Hang on. Rock? Uh, rock? Yeah, rock. Yeah, rock, okay. And it just should just crawl its way through this. <laughs> I'm not in it. So that's just cruising along on its own. It's doing its thing. A bit of brake if you want to slow yeah. down a bit. Ah, oh, so it all works well. Man, it's how, how well sorted is all that? How low is it in first, like when you. I just feel like taking off to Fraser Island and we should just grab a couple of cards oh, a bit. <laughs> imagine imagine there's a Fraser in that, on the beaches. Oh, mate, could we, we could extend the test for a few seconds? <laughs> I know. Yeah, I'll well, go back and have another go then. Oh god, it's low. Yeah, that's what you want for crawling through that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's wild. Which one do you want to go through now? I reckon we go back to um the four wheel drive auto. Yeah. Yeah, and what Baja, mode? Baja. Baja mode? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hard. All right. You've recovered from that back operation, haven't you? What are you going to do? I'll just see what it does, mate. Oh, dude. <laughs> dude. All right. OK. Are we in Baja? Yep. Oh, oh watch the mirrors. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. You lunatic. <laughs> pretty good, eh? It's not bad. That's pretty rough. Just... Yeah, it actually top. wasn't bad. Uh, uh -huh. Bloody hell. <laughs> you want to try some mud? Huh? You want to try some oh, mud? I don't want to get it dirty. Why not? Huh? Why not? Oh, I don't go through there. Why not? Huh? What about... What about just, oh, it's a bit, bit skinny up there, isn't it? You don't have to wash it. What? No, you won't have to wash it. What's that? The car. <laughs> if you go through there. Yeah, I'll go through there, mate. Oh, really? Yeah. You won't even know it's no. going through it, mate. Where's it yeah. going to come up to? The valve caps? I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah? 
serious bit of it. <laughs> it is. It just does everything. Like. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Oh, get the steam off the engine. Where are you going, dude? I'm just going, mate. Okay, all right. <laughs> that looked good in the water there, wasn't it? Huh? It's just doing it easy, isn't it? Yeah. This is where you need mud node, right? Right. Feel right. it trying to spin the wheels. Yeah, yeah. Then the TC's kicking in. Okay, so put it in mud and sand. Yeah. Then the traction comes off. Yeah. We should be able to roost mud if we want to. Don't roost it up. <laughs> oh, <dude. laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go with the track. You just dragged half a Norwell on it. <laughs> oh, dude, seriously. <laughs> Mate, that's what it's for. Right? Can you imagine going to the mud oh, bog? Go, on, go back through her again. Go you, on. you imagine going to the mud bog yeah. with your mates in America? <laughs> <laughs> they have a fat old time in there. Oh, Jesus. You're worried. I'm going to take this thing back. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> good, isn't it? So the mud and sand turns everything off. Yeah, because you want to. Yeah. So you can blast it, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Oh, we've well, had some high speed runs on the grass. No? Oh, you reckon? Maybe you're quite probably through. Hang on, hang on. Probably one. That's Baja, mate. Baja. That's Baja, mate. Yeah. yeah. How good's that, Russ? <laughs> Jesus, dude. That's the best <laughs> one. That's the best car you've got yet. Look what you've done to it. Oh. <laughs> Seriously, you're a lunatic. So what do you reckon? Mate, I'd, I'd love let's, one. Let's summarise like, this thing. Huh? Let's summarise it. Would you own it? It's the ultimate weekend car, isn't it? It is. That's what yeah, it really yeah, is. Yeah. yeah. And you know what? You look at it and you go, is it practical? You know, is it a practical car? But what's practical? It's a 200,000 plus on roads deal, right? So, yeah, it's a bit of brass. 
it's not yeah. cheap. But then again, you look at it and you look at someone that buys a Lamborghini, buys a Ferrari, right? Yeah. Are they are they practical cars? At the end of the day, are they are they practical vehicles? Not with the speed limits in Australia. Not but, a, not at all. But this is a a car you can go and use. <laughs> <laughs> so anyone that says this is not a practical vehicle, right? is kidding themselves because yeah if you can afford this sort of money right this is more practical than a ferrari or a lambo or any of those gt style cars yeah because you can take this anywhere you could take it out on the town still got, enough, funny, nice restaurant. still got enough sizzle yeah yeah everyone yeah. still looks at it right yeah. everyone goes wow what's that right but you can do what we've just done here go to fraser island you know, go, go to Morton want. Island, go on the beaches, go off-roading. Go wherever you uh, want, mate. Go, yeah. I mean, it really does do everything. Like, it's probably one of the only vehicles I've ever experienced that does a lot. Now, for me, it, it's I, I was a bit sceptical about it, and I thought, oh, yeah, and I've got the normal, but just, just driving it then, it's like, okay, that's something I'd like to have, something I'd just like to have. Could, gotta, could you get one? What's the wait list well, going to be like? What's the wait list for anything? Yeah. I mean, you kiss goodbye to 12 months if you that you yeah. care. <laughs> like, you know, at the end of the day, you know, like you throw the money down, put, put yourself on the order queue and off you go. But, but to me, the practicality of the thing as well, if you're going to have a toy, a weekend toy, and let's face it, it is this, because you're not going to, you're not going to throw a car around on the back and go to No, you're not. You could, but at the yeah. end of the day, you want a pretty big fuel budget. Yep. Because coming up here, I was sort of sitting on, you know, 18 to 19 litres per, per 100. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so sucking it pretty hard, you know, but, but at the end of the day, that's not what it's for. You know, what, what it's for is exactly, it's exactly what we've done today. Yeah, I think it's fantastic. <laughs> and, and when you look at these, these cars, it shows, it showcases the brand, doesn't it? Oh, that, you know, not sense. everyone can afford this one, but I wouldn't mind the Express or I wouldn't, uh, yeah, it yeah. aligns you to the brand and it's it's such a cool thing. Well, it's it's one of the real success stories since Ram was introduced into this country. Yeah. By a long shot. It's, it's, a, it's a household name, a household brand and it's a quality truck. And don't break down. <laughs> and everyone <laughs> and everyone was saying, who want who needs American trucks in this country? Yeah, well, we do. Look at their order books. Yeah. Pretty wild. That's a good one. I don't know how we top that, but when, <laughs> no, when, it's, it's when does of, it have to go back? It's one of the best tests we do. I've got, I've got to take it back today. Oh, what are you going to be at the... Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Well, dude, it <laughs> just, so, just so happens, you've got to say, Daddy, we'll use the new Enforcer 4x4 and RV wash, guaranteed to clean anything. So, Get it cleaned that's up, That's a mate. real Dale Earnhardt in your face, isn't it? There we go. Uh, who is going to wash it? Okay. You've got it, Daddy. I don't mind washing it, mate. Do you? No, we I can't enjoy take it. We can't take it back like that. No, we've got Guys from around Australia are going to peak when they see this thing. But then again, you reckon any other journos would have done a test like that? Probably not that extreme. Right. No. But, but that's what it's for. They said take it, use it. Yeah, yeah. Show us what it can do. And we showed you what it can do. Well, <laughs> he did. He's a bloody lunatic. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed that. I love it. I'm going to order one. Are you? Yeah. Can I borrow it? No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs>